Hey guys, welcome to Vintage Genetics, where it's all about classic bodybuilding of course, and today is a superset, arm workout straight from the 70s. But first, I want to thank you guys for all your kind comments on my transformation video that I uploaded before this one. It took a while to find all those pictures, but it was well worth it. And that's why I love making these videos, because a lot of people respond positively and some people are even inspired and motivated because of the video so that's definitely a strong drive for me to keep going anyway we start out with the preacher dumbbell curl combined with the rope pushdown and you want to make sure you get constant tension especially on the preacher dumbbell curl that you just saw so don't lean back too much lean forward and let the gravity Pull the weight down, forcing you to use your bicep even at the very top. And with the rope push down right here, it's important to squeeze the triceps at the bottom by turning your wrists outwards at the bottom of the movement to get the most out of the exercise. And this is another preacher exercise, the preacher barbell curl. And I use a close grip to emphasize the outer part of the biceps. But what you really should pay attention to is that I'm leaning forward, as I mentioned earlier. And this is the difficult way of doing it opposed to leaning back. Because when you lean forward, the angle of the weight opposed to your biceps shifts, forcing your biceps to stay contracted at the top. So experiment with this and find the perfect angle for constant tension on your biceps. And then we go on to lying tricep extensions with the dumbbell. So some people aren't able to do skull crushers because the weight is too heavy on their elbows. So first try doing some sets with dumbbells because you can't go as heavy here and you have more freedom to move your arms around to lessen the stress on your elbows. But make sure to also here feel the constant tension on your triceps, especially on the stretch. You guys, I want you to have the best possible advice, so follow me when I tell you the following. Do incline dumbbell curls. Look at this, a picture of Arnold Schwarzenegger, and this is an underrated exercise. In all seriousness though, this exercise forces you to stretch your biceps all the way. And same goes for the contraction, but there's this unique feeling to it that is hard to explain. Because the stretch you feel here is deeper than any stretch you can achieve on the preacher curl. It's the pulling on the muscle fibers from a stretched position of the muscle that makes hypertrophy or hypertrophy happen, which is muscle growth. Arnold knew this, so he always used a full range of motion. And what I just did for triceps here are two different pushdowns. First, the regular pushdown on the medial head, uh, which targets the medial head more. And then stepping back and leaning forward a bit and then using the exercise to target the long head more. A great way to fill up the entire triceps. And these are concentration hammer curls. And as I mentioned in another video, doing hammer curls standing the regular way, when I go too heavy, I feel this pain, this light pain in the background in between my forearm and bicep. And I have had a minor injury there before from doing hammer curls way too heavy, which is always a mistake. But doing them this way, the concentrated way, I target the muscle from a different angle and I can basically go all out without risking injury. And besides hitting the two bicep heads, hammer curls also hit the sheets of muscle beneath the bicep, thickening your bicep from the front. And these are tricep kickbacks, they are great for overall tricep development, but make sure to keep your upper arms parallel to the floor and contract your triceps at the top of the movement. <laughs> okay guys, 
50 reps to the death. Like Arnold Schwarzenegger in the, in the Golden Arrow, let's die. That's right, from time to time I include a finishing set like this to really finish off one particular muscle group and obviously I'm working the biceps and this is something they would do in the golden age of bodybuilding. Guys like Arnold, Tom Platz, Frank Zane really keep going and go beyond failure, no excuses. And I am supposed to do 50 reps here, start with a heavy weight and then slowly go down whenever you can't get the weight up anymore with good form and keep going until you hit 50 reps. And I'm not even sure how many reps I did exactly because I lost count, but it's all about finishing off the biceps in a way that they are not used to. And I started off with about 20 kilos, which isn't very heavy for most people, but with correct form, it suddenly turns into a monster weight. Trust me, just try it. And then slowly keep going two kilos down every time that you can't curl anymore. And you know, to me, this is a fun way of training and you can apply this to the bench press and other exercises as well. Just make sure that you are properly warmed up first. And that's why I did this at the end of the workout. And of course, since we finished off the biceps, now it is time for the triceps. Well, we won't be doing the same intensity, but still hitting all three heads. So this is going to be a set of three exercises. And as you can see, we started out with the overhead tricep extension for eight reps, targeting the long head. And then right here, the rope skull crushers for eight reps, targeting the medial head. And then, as you can see right here, eight reps with the rope push down for the small head of the triceps. Hitting off three heads at the end of the set. And that was it for arms. And because arms are a relatively small muscle group, I usually add an ab routine at the end. First up are leg raises. And you're always hitting your entire abdominal muscles when doing any sort of ab exercise. But leg raises emphasize the lower abs a little more. And make sure to keep feeling the tension on your abs and try not to use momentum when going up and then we follow it up with decline ab crunches and because it's decline you start out using your lower abs but to get to the top entirely your upper abs are required so you hit the entire abdominals and i try not to hit the bench behind me when i'm going down at least not lay down on it so i won't lose too much tension now, sure, it would increase the range of motion, but if you lose tension when doing so, it's not going to do much at all. And here I am kind of checking uh, if my vacuum is still intact. <laughs> I advise training your vacuum when doing abs because that makes it harder. And when you can do something under a difficult situation, difficult circumstance, it'll be a lot easier during a casual situation. Last but not least, the rope crunches. And this is a classic exercise from the 70s that I have learned to love over time because at first it felt awkward, but when you get the hang of it, it's actually really beneficial. The tension on your abs is constant and your con the contraction of your abs is also stronger than regular ab exercises. But you also get a great stretch at the top, so I definitely recommend this one. Well, I hope you enjoyed that workout, but I wanted to show you something. Um, remember when uh, I was, you know, if you've been following me for uh, quite a while, 
you know that I used to eat pineapple slices before every meal because in pineapples there's an enzyme called bromelain which pre-digests protein for you so you are able to absorb more of it it digests faster so that's why I ate the pineapple but I recently found out that my own sponsor Scitech Nutrition actually has bromelain tablets so let's take a look. So this is it. As you can see, natural enzyme. This comes from the pineapple. And um, no, it says that it's recommended to take two after uh, um, after a meal. But I take two in the after breakfast and one after every meal. But I take two after a meal before the gym so that I can train without being bloated as much, you know, when I would get bloated. It would mostly be because of the protein that my body is still digesting. And this just speeds the process up. So if you are low on calories in your diet and you don't feel like buying pineapple every day, but you still want to digest those proteins more efficiently, then get yourself something like this bromelain. Now, I have to be honest, the pineapple, of course, has more benefits. It's just healthier, extra vitamins like vitamin C and minerals, fibers, and it tastes amazing. But then again, it does add some calories. There are sugars in there and um, it's more expensive than one bottle like this. So this is easier to digest. But after your meal, just take one of one or two of these and it should do its magic. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and there's a lot more coming, trust me. Um, well, I recorded the workout with um, my Samsung Galaxy S7, which I recently acquired and it has uh, you know, quite a good recording setting, so I tried it out. And let's see how it looks like on YouTube. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching and don't forget to stay golden.